all right now that our site is ready the next step is to deploy it so before deploying it to the platform like Vercel, we would be uploading the code to a repository in github so that whenever we make a change and we push the change a new build is triggered so for that um, go to your github account and create a repository i'll be creating with the name of next.js prismic news site and i'm not writing any description right now and it's going to be public and i'm not creating a readme right now i'll create a repository all right so now that we have this we will add the remote and then we will push it to the master now that we have this code completed let's stop the terminal and then we will commit the code that we have written it's best practice to save your code by committing regularly whenever you finish a certain feature or fix a bug but we will be doing it in a one go so type in git add and type dot for adding everything so as you can see we have all the changes have now been staged so now we can commit git commit and you can type in a message and the message would be um, first version completed and press enter all right so this commit has been created and now we would like to add a remote so git remote add origin and then you have to use your git repositories address basically this is going to be you should copy this and i'll be pasting it here and press enter and now we can push from here so git push or unchanged but you don't actually need so git push origin master and this is going to push all the changes to the master repository on your github account The repository has been created on our github account let's see by refreshing it and let's see if the code has been updated yes the code has been updated component css pages public and all that stuff now this is a next.js application and now we will be using the virtual platform to host it create an account i've already created an account so i'll be redirected to the dashboard and i'll click on import a project and i'll be importing from a git repository and now we have to input the url of the git repository so this is the url copy it and paste it and click on continue all right so it has already detected that uh, this is a next.js platform and it has already put the build and output setting if you haven't changed anything you don't need to override them now there is also environment variables option and we don't have any sensitive information but for example if you have used the access token in the prismic you could have used the the environment variables here and saved the access token value for your prismic account but we don't have any environment variables and then click on deploy All right, so you can see that the deployment has completed and now we can visit the site. So if you click it visit, you can even see the thumbnail here. And if you go here, that is next.js prismic news site.versal.app. Now you could you you could have created this smaller, but let's go with the longer one. And yeah, you have the site here and this will be significantly faster because now it has already been built. So if you click on this thing senator movie and you will be directed to trending article and then you can go back to home and it's fast so now we can click on any main article like this and then you will be redirected to the article super mario and here you can see that and you can go back to home so sports politics business home it's it's fast it's awesome and now that the deploy is completed you can even check this out 
another thing that i would like to talk about how you can change the domains and you can write your own custom domain so if you go to your uh, virtual platform and you go to the site and go to the settings and then domain you can edit it so i have edited the previous domain to now channel21.virtual.app and you can click on save i have already saved it so now this domain has changed as per our requirement and if i click it i will be redirected to channel21.virtual.app and you can see that it works just the same so you can you have the power of custom domains with virtual and it's totally free so definitely check this out and this will be the conclusion of our tutorial so thank you guys for watching this video